Uh, all right, Jake, let's uh, let's talk about you for a minute here. So uh, you're working with Chance Hymas. Yep. But he's also down at the 83 compound. Is that a full-time move? or wh- no. no. Well, honestly, don't know. I mean, he's in a unique situation because it's like we don't really know – like when the pro transition, ha- I, he's he's racing Paul this yeah. weekend, but after that, don't really know what that transition is going to be when he full time lines up or what's going to happen there. So he spent a month before Loretta's um, at the eighty three compound in Florida, and then we did Loretta's, and then he went back again, and Burner's been helping him mm-hmm. a little bit, just like if. And I told them, like, if I'm not there, like, I can't help you. Yeah. Like, so and you're not going to f- move to Florida and work with them full time at the 83 compound? I mean, I d- <laughs> well, I'm guessing not. It's, yeah. I, after Paul, we're supposed to sit down and talk and try and hash out a plan for him to try and narrow that down a little bit. But he's been spending some time in Florida and just kind of, s- he had a rough summer and yeah. just trying to sort some things out and working on stuff. So, the combine went better for him. Yeah, um, feeling better on the bike and barely just, beat Evan Ferry and just generally feeling better. So, so if he rides Paula this weekend, going to race pro by sounds of it, like mm-hmm. Hayden did this past weekend. I want to talk to you guys about Hayden too, mm-hmm. but um, he can still do Supercross futures, to my knowledge. Like yes. if it's if yes. it doesn't go well or yes. the Honda's not, but but he did futures this year, did a good job at it. So I think he's ready for a 250 Supercross. I feel like I feel like if he had. The full, you know, three month Supercross prep. Yeah, I think he would be ready. Right. Um, that's not entirely up to him or you know yeah. I or you know right, there's right. there's circumstances. So, but yeah, I feel like if he had three months, like I feel like he'd be ready. So what happened at Loretta's? Obviously, one of the favorites going in um, and uh, didn't go that well. No. What, no. what happened? Um, it happened. Honestly, much, much before that. Like, he's healthy. He's not hurt. Yeah. He's not sick. He's he's fine. But yeah, it's just funny. Weege, Weege was saying that he keeps waiting for a chance to be like, oh, I was sick. No. Or, he said he's been making no excuses. No. Nope. Yeah. He's yeah. fine. Yep. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like it kind of started clear back at Spring Nationals. He did win a couple titles, but it kind of just felt like salvage mode. And then got through that, and then – you know, goes home, you're riding by yourself. Oh, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good. Went to Mammoth. Um, was just messing around with bike setup and just trying to get more comfortable. So Mammoth wasn't great. Then we went to Red Bud and it was the same thing for the combine. Yeah. Um, messing with the bike and he just wasn't super comfortable. And, and then I think at that point, then getting ready for Loretta's, he went to Florida and kind of, Felt like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm fine. And then it was just more of the same. Like, he rode his bike eight times, and we did something. Well, not – I didn't do anything, okay. but <laughs> something every time just to yeah, try and – he was just – but at that point, I just felt like he had a rough summer, and it was – the results weren't it, And you'd seen it coming a little bit? Like, the, yeah. like he, we, he wasn't just clicking off wins. Like, we – everybody kind of thought that he was going to, and I just think it was – you know, just mentally, that's a lot of a big toll there and just playing with his bike and trying to, you know, just searching at yeah. that point. Like, yeah. what what's going on? Uh, something's off. Um, and yeah. so, yeah, it was just um, – at, at that point, as a coach, trainer, coach, trainer, you're more coach than trainer, I guess, yeah. right? You can't – like, you know, th- things are going sideways on Tuesday – you're done, right? Like yeah. you can't recover. Like are, like you're just like, oh boy. You just do the best you can yeah, at that yeah, point. I mean, yeah. once in a while, maybe you hit the nail on the head, and you know, yeah, yeah. you get a whole shot, and things work out, and it can pull you right back up like that. Mm-hmm. But generally, yeah, I mean, if you're kind of having a tough time, it's the same thing. Like if you start a Supercross season, 17 rounds, and the first four go bad, mm-hmm. it's really hard to to yeah. get that ship turned around. So, I thought. Because originally, after Loretta's, he was going to do the last four. And so I was glad that the decision was made to not do that. Were you involved in that? I I was in the yeah. conversations, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, so just kind of let him hit the reset. Um, he went home and did an off-road race and just kind of just try and get him back. Like, just let his brain rest, really. Yeah. Yeah. And so 
even while all this was going on, I, I, I was never worried like, oh my God, I don't know if the kid's gonna be able to do this or, no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah. I'm not worried about the future. I mean, he's got a job, he's got a, a damn good job. He'll be fine. It's just as racers were, you know. You, you learn a lot about a racer. Uh, look, Chance Hymas' stock has just been going up for the last year and a half. Yeah. I mean, just out of nowhere, catch, you know, all this Honda ride. Yeah. Just can't be stopped, right? Futures. And you learn a lot about a guy when it goes that goes south and doesn't work that yeah. well and you got to fight through adversity. So yeah. how, how was he? How, Very good. Like he, and, and I'm not just saying that because – I help him or right. you know know the kid like I I look I like the family the kid like it's yeah. really enjoyable for me mm -hmm. and I'm not just saying like it's actually pretty impressive to me because that's a really hard thing to do yeah um, he's really good about I mean yeah when as soon as the helmet comes off like he's frustrated and he's upset but he's really good about you know 30 45 minutes an hour yeah. and okay we're going to dinner Let's figure yeah, out let's tomorrow. Drop it like and, yeah. he's actually right, right. really good about that. Yeah, you don't, like I said, you learn a lot about people yeah. when when there's stress applied to yes. to to them. You know. Yeah. Um, so uh, with him racing Paula this weekend, what bike will he be riding? Will he be riding his amateur bike with his amateur suspension, or will he be going to the the race bike with say Showa stuff that they run? I believe it's supposed to be 100. percent I just talked to him the other day. I guess I didn't ask that specifically, but it, I know he'll have. I, I, from what I understand, I guess that would have been a good question for me to ask, but <laughs> I believe that he will be on a full 250. Full, full yeah. 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 yeah well, because it's quite a bit different, right? Like, so you have like Hunter and Jet, you know, yes, he's on factory Honda, but he has what factory connection suspension versus the, the in house show us stuff. Yeah. So, right. Um, and mo so, like everything really. Yeah. Like, everything. So this weekend, uh, Hayden was 11th until he went spectacularly crashed. Mm -hmm. It looked like he was handling 11th, no problem. You know, good good window form. Times were good. Do you figure chance will be 11 to 20, 11 to 15? Is that what you'd be happy with? Well, or better, I, obviously. I would like him to be better than that. I mean, 11th around, like, yeah. if we're in 20, like, no, like, or yeah. even 15, like, I expect more from him than that. Um, right. We're not hoping a Jake Weimer. Uh, no, 22, no, 22, 22, no, 22. No, no, yeah, no, 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 we're not. We're not looking for that. That's not. <laughs> I just know. I mean, I'm close to him. I've been around him a lot the last couple of years. I know what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he'll do at Paula. I know what he's capable of. I've seen him ride a lot. Definitely, I would be stoked. Like, I would like to see him. You know, a lot. Yeah, better than fifteenth. Do I think okay. he's gonna go win? No, 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 right. no, no, no. no. Right. That's not what I'm saying. But uh, he's he's capable of doing well. What'd you make of Deegan's performance? Obviously, no points in yeah. DNF twenty two or whatever. But what'd you make of that until, you know? Um, I think he was fine. Like I, honestly, I didn't get shocked e like yeah. either way. Like the no points, whatever. Like I, I don't even care about that. But, um. I don't think it's a terrible idea to just get him in there and just, yeah. hey, this is what it is, kind of open up your – take the blinders off a little bit because mm -hmm. it, is, it is another level. Um, you know, the kid's good. He's fast. I, I mean, I saw that at Loretta's Spring yeah. Nationals. Like, I, yeah. um, obviously, results-wise, I – you know, he's better than that, which, you know, he crashed, yeah. whatever. But, right. no, I think, I think he's fine. I think he's good. I think he will be good. All right. Uh, sounds good. Hey, I want to thank uh, Tyler, Tony Moore, Muppet, uh, Feedub. They all donate on the YouTube chat. I didn't know you could do this, but you could just donate. So if they like, uh, if they like uh, A Ray and Jake Weimer, they can give us money. So thanks to those people for doing that. Uh, appreciate it. All right, let's go to commercial break here on the show. Dean Wilson's coming up. 